Hi, everybody. Come on in. We're just getting started. I'm in mirror mode today because I'm going to be doing some demonstration. My intention is to, instead of just uh, talking about things, actually show stuff. Sorry, one second. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to make sure we're live. Yeah, let's make sure we're live. I know. I, know. I wasn't actually starting. I was just talking over the people sitting down. Okay. It's like that thing where the DJ starts, you know, do you want me to shut up while you go? You're just, good. Thanks. You're good. Now you can start. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> My, my favorite thing is to go live while I'm in the middle of a sentence, so it's obvious that everyone's missing out on something if you're not there. Okay, we've got a couple spaces up front, either side. Um, so this is Stop Reinventing the Wheel, um, and this is not a, um, this is not a um, angry old guy standing on his porch shouting at you. This is somebody who is with his hand over his heart saying, please, can we all figure out how to, we all are doing such a good job doing this all by ourselves, figuring it out by ourselves. Let's get together a little bit more. So that's what this is about. And, but there is going to be three easy steps. We're going to do some demonstrations and walk through things. And I'm hoping folks have some projects that you want to take a look at with the, with the process. So, because I just couldn't think of any. I was like, I'll have some ready just in case. Well, that didn't happen. So just a quick overview of what we're doing. Um, the zero with thing, this is the link to the resources of this whole presentation. There's, there's a worksheet that's going on, like everything you need. I'm going to make sure that link is present. It's at the footer as well um, and other stuff. It's... Um, that's actually a sim link that points to an HTML file. Well, either way, it's there, and, and we'll have chances to look at it, and I'll leave this up here for a few minutes. In fact, this will stay here for a few minutes. Um, and then I'll introduce myself, hi, and I'll say why we're, why we're, why we're here, and then we'll see what, we're gonna, what we can get out of this, and then we'll get into a demonstration. Um, so just briefly, my name is Karsten Wade. I'm also known as Quaid in any short online media. Um, that's my uh, persona internet. What do you say? Nom de internet. And... Um, and I've been involved in the open source way, uh, writing the and writing the, the guidebook and uh, talking about it for a dozen, thirteen Baker's dozen years, I think now. And um, I'm a principal community architect at Red Hat um, in our open source program office. And a community architect is, I mean, honestly, it's a lot like a physical architect in building in construction. I walk around projects all the time. I'm talking with people when somebody needs a hand with something. I bring my, uh, you know, I apply, help them do what they're doing and help connect the other parts of the project together, uh, lay out a plan to make all that happen so the communities can be successful, um, and work hand in hand with the other people like you would with a construction manager or schedulers or anybody else like that to help make sure the projects are successful. And generally, I work on strategic projects. Um, we'll probably, we'll, you, I'll use one as an, uh, just a simple and short example later on. Um, and um, yeah, and, and we've just released the, the, the guidebook, the, the Open Source Way version 2.0 came out uh, early last year. And um, this is, I, I, for a long time, my whole point was trying to, I was wanting to get everybody to help write, write more, let's get together, talk practices. I'd like, it was sort of a huge apple, big bite concept. And um, that's not what this talk is. I've sort of switched my mode. Uh, I started last year when I was at Open Source Summit uh, in, in Seattle, I started to just talk to people and feel differently about some things. And then I saw some talks at Open Source Summit in Austin that confirmed those things. Actually, I think after I did this proposal, but we'll get into those too. Um, and there's a call to action out of this, which is just that we really, we really need to um, talk one-to-one -one more uh, across projects. Talk to people doing, who care about community stewardship. You don't have to have a community manager in your title. You just have to care about the stewarding of communities. And to ask and to, to reach out to people beyond, and just have coffee, tea, some kind of beverage, virtually or in real life, um, and make relationships, and let's work out it from there. There's resources and things to do when you're ready to like do stuff, but talking is a good place to go. And then we'll try to get to demonstration. Um, yeah, so let's go. Um, but I just want to spend a couple minutes talking about the why part of this because I think this is important. I want to drive back home about that thing about creating community amongst all of us. Um, I do think it's the right idea to dig into this, this book to show you how it works. So that's good. Um, but I do think that I might have been doing this sort of field of dreams technique for too long. Um, so I wanted to, so I'm going to be showing some pictures that are, that are notes that I captured in, in, at these open source summits, for example. Uh, they're, they were done in Remarkable and they have this terrible grid, so I did redo them without the grid. So anyway, that's what's going on with this. And this was from Ava Black's talk. They were talking about codes of con oh, the talk, if you just went to the talk yesterday, very, very much the similar talk, same one. And stewardship, you know, caring about people being this most important thing and making sure that that was something that was at the center of all that we were doing. Um, and that was something that just, just resonated with what, like I came to that talk with that in my heart, and then that's when the words were said, I'm like, yeah, that was it. And then I want to share with you about these three talks as well. Um, 
for a moment just to show you my notes from these three talks that I attended in open source of it, um, Austin. So one of them was, uh, I pardon my, I'm doing my best to remember the name pronunciations of everybody, but I believe Anna Filipova uh, did scale, uh, Scaling Your Communities. I'm forgetting the full title. My brain's on that today. Um, but the thing, they, it was a, what I, the key of what I experienced was people who were newer than I am at doing community management stuff. They were doing everything right, but more. They were teaching me things. I was, oh, I hadn't thought of it that way, like over and over again. And so this was one of the ones where, where Anna was talking about scaling and had a market, marketing perspective on scaling that was just phenomenal and was applying it the, into open source collab and open collaborations. And it was making, it was, it was ex extending the art, expanding what we could be doing with it. Um, and, and when I asked, and I said, you know, you know, afterwards, where did you, you know, I didn't say, hey, I've got a book, but I just asked simply, where'd you learn all this stuff? Oh, I had to figure it all out. We trial and error. Wow. You know, love to have coffee with you sometime because it's like, yeah, I'm done with it. So, um, and then uh, Karen Woolock um, had a great talk on turning users into advocates. And, um, uh, and one, of the, one of the ideas I love was this, was I've always talked about lowering the barriers to participation. And she, she pictured them as so low, it's almost like a ramp. It's like barely little bumps along the way. Um, something where it's this um, uh, one, more, one more little thing to do step. And then she used an example from a, like a Google review process where it just said, hey, did you eat at this place? And you just like one question, one answer. And by the time you were done, you'd created an entire review as opposed to just be given a review um, out in front of you, right? So it was, you know, it was more powerful uh, and a way to just kind of walk people into it and make them sort of sneakily with gamification, you know, caught up in it. And then Amy June um, Heinlein, I think I've got, if I said that right, um, had a talk about finding your niche in open source contributions. And, in, and you can see, I'm like, I wrote how, I mean, this was like a big point to me. I'm like, I'd never thought, remove the fucking barriers. Remove them, right? Like, can we do that? Yeah, we can. We have, we have software. We can automate things. We can start removing things that we just always take it for granted. <laughs> Pardon my swearing. I'm just, you know, it's like a passionate thing. I get it. And it's just, and, and, and what she said here, being invited and being included are really different. Being invited and being included are really different things. So with all those things in mind, um, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get into um, doing some demos, just analyzing some projects, going diving into them, showing you what I would do as a community architect to look and say, well, here's what's working, what's not, what we would flag to, to want to be taken care of to help the project um, first attract users, and because users are contributors, they're contributing their time and attention to your project just to even read your web page, right? So let's give them something back in from the very beginning. Um, so this process, okay, it's not that complicated. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's a kind of an analyzing and re an action process. You want to you want to you know read through the book, read through the parts that ringed with you, think about your own organization and what you know and don't know about open source. So sort of do your own mental gap analysis. You can do a written one too, but don't show it to anybody until you're ready to, because <laughs> it could be kind of a anyway gap analysis like this can be a little bit dark. You suddenly discover like oh we're not doing that are we? And then and then when it comes to the project you want to work on, do a full assessment of it going through the worksheet and then write a report. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip over an example of what I mean by this report in a moment. Um, and, then, um, and then just act on your recommendations, which is the kind of thing I've been doing in a project since I wrote a report on it like a year and a half ago. Um, what's here? Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna actually flip over to, look, what do I have open? I have, no, that's not the one I was looking for. I'm looking for this one. So this isn't, I, I didn't do a full check through on this to make sure that there wasn't, I think I've got this released somewhere and it's vetted and it's all cool. I just didn't know for sure. So I didn't put this on the resources page yet because this was my internal copy, but I believe it's all there. But this is the, re, this is the end, the example of what the end report is like uh, from the, um, the different, um, from the worksheet that I'm going to be doing in a moment. So, and then at the top, you know, it's got, a, at the top, it's got a key recommendations for everything, executive summary, summaries, and then uh, all these different areas to go through. Um, and at the end, there's a, oh, I paged all the way down. That's what happened. At the end, there's a, a, I just basically have a massive list of all the things to do. And that's just kind of like the punch list. Like consider and create a meetup calendar for tracking users. Or create a lightweight style guide for blog posts to make writing and reviewing easier. Um, create, a, create a tracking process and metrics tooling to track contributors to the Operate First project itself, et cetera. So that's the basic idea of, oh, see, I'm not, didn't mean to be jumping ahead. Um, so let me, get, let me get the worksheet over and show you what this looks like. Oh, that's what happens. This was on the wrong, okay. There we go. Hi, yes, let's, let's do some questions. I like that part. Can we move, can we roll 
Yeah, we'll make some room for our folks to sit down as we get, let's get comfortable for a couple minutes. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And, and, and also, if I'm, I'm um, I try to be mindful about speaking slowly and speaking up, but if I, you know, talk about, like, you know, anything, just somebody throw a rock at me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you do, do the work of me, but I'll try to pay notice, but if somebody needs to flag me too along the way. Thank you. Appreciate that. Awesome. Wow. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Um, so let's, so, so basically what we have is um, uh, this overview of the work. So this worksheet is in our GitHub repo, um, which is the link should be on that resources page. Um, so we can look at that in some time, but it doesn't really matter. This is the main point. And um, th this overview basically has a, a, the high level questions from each of the subsections. So it's going to have for um, structure, which is, um, we used to say infrastructure, but like what's the, what's the, um, what's, from the, from, this is, this is a, this is an analysis done from the viewpoint of a person who's coming to a project either having never seen it for the first time or pretending like you haven't seen it for the first time. And you don't, like, I don't go and ask anybody to find something for me. My whole job is to find what's visible that should be there. And it doesn't matter if it's there somewhere. You're like, oh, but we got it. Oh, it's fine. But can I find it when I come to your website, right? So this is going to be a whole list of all the things that the structure of what your project looks like to the people coming in from the outside. Uh, and so then, and, and some of these terminology, uh, this, this process has was been developed over a dozen years. And so things like release management, we, like the first time, like taking this out, every time I take it out into a new language or a new, a, you know, a new programming language or a new, you know, part of the open source world, they'll be like, oh, we don't do that. That's not how we do releases or we don't do releases. It's always or something. So this is a kind of area that does need to be always reconsidered. These are the kinds of practices that as we talk amongst ourselves, we'll discover the differences and, you know, and, and that kind of thing. And if we ever want to write them down, we can come back and fix all this stuff. Um, activity, uh, what's the idea? What, what are the activity of the project like? What is it? Uh, click over, there we go. What is it actually doing on a day to day, month to month, year over year basis? Uh, documentation. Uh, one thing, <laughs> I mean, we've always said documentation is important. I was a docs write, write, docs lead in Fedora project for a number of years. That was my uh, biggest first run in doing open source work. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But Demetrius Cheatham has been doing work for allinopensource.org, which is a project working on opening and open sourcing diversity, equity, and inclusion. And part of that effort has been doing a, doing a, a mass demographic survey. Some of you may have heard of it, um, as well as talking to hundreds of maintainers and consistently everything everything that blocks people who are who are marginalized or underrepresented in your communities is the quality of documentation so super important column um, and this is this gets in there to that um, code quality is often just the best attempt depending on if you can get an expert to take a look um, sometimes that's worth it sometimes people don't really need that um, outreach you know basically um, what are the uh, what's the computer what's the community doing to try to get word out about what it's doing? How is it outreach to other people in the world? Um, and then, then uh, making sure that the license considerations are covered, and that's clear that it has an open source license, and that, that stuff is clear as well. Um, so in, in these areas are going to be things like, does it have a code of conduct, by the way? So even though that's not a high level thing, that kind of stuff is in here. Oh, and so I think that must be it. Where's that one? And that must be down in. I don't know. So, okay, so basically the idea is then each one of these, let me find, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do the mapping back, back for you here of what I'm talking about, right, is that get a web browser. How did I lose getting here without a web browser? Okay. So, So if, we, if all of the major sections of this guidebook correlate to the kind, to two things that you are doing that's coming out of, that, out of that audit. So if you find something that's lacking, there's going to be something in this book that's going to help you, give you some guidance on what to be doing about that. Oh, there's no governance for this project. Well, an entire chapter on how to do governance, right? Um, but in particular, if you go under measuring success, this defining healthy communities, if I pick the right chapter, yeah, you'll see a correlation structure, release management. The, the, essentially, the fields from that worksheet are here in this book. So there's a direct you know, connection across the thing, right? So I mean, the, it, it, you have to do the mental work of finding the relationship between the, what you're discovering in a project and what you're looking for in the book from having read it. Uh, we don't have a better index than that. 
Um, but it's, 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 a, it's a reasonable thing to do to the point where um, when we do a, an audit of a project, it's usually, I try to lock it into two to four hours total time uh, of, of looking at all the stuff and filling in the worksheet because it shouldn't take much longer than that to find all the things. And now that I know, what I'm, I know what I'm trying to look for, I've got the whole process down, I can do it. The first time you do it, it might take a little longer, a couple of days, that kind of thing. Um, but, um, you know, just be able to make the relationship. So let's, take, let's talk about a project. Does anybody have a project in mind that you would like to take a look? Oh, and look, and, and while we, you do that, I'm going to show you what I mean by what a, this project is, the Operate First project. If you would go, go back using the Wayback Machine, you can see it's a very different project thing in the past. But it, this front page hits all of the points that we're trying to make. There's a, there's a call to action in here. There's information that's going. Um, the call to action could be something like download or install or whatever, but it's something that people can do. Um, and then it goes into it and explains what the project is about. And then it gives people information about what they're interested in doing, how to get involved. Like what, what are the drivers? And then you know, down. So this is, this is an example of, of something. If I did this, I think hopefully I would pass my own audit. So I'm not going to do this project. But do you have a project? Yes. Can you, what's the domain? OK. And then let's think of, so we saw uh, all of the different categories, the different columns in the worksheet. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Um, what would be, I mean, because we can't, we can't do everything here today, right? Is there anything in particular that you might be interested in offhand to dive into? Um, I said documentation before, so that's one that I could go at. Uh, documentation or outreach, either of those? Sure. OK. Let's take a look at documentation. OK. Yeah, yeah, well, at least quite a bit. So, so the idea in, when you're in here is that there's sort of a main question you're trying to roll up to for the report, and then these detailed questions are, are this is where you, um, you go from the general concepts to, uh, to something maybe a little bit more detailed if it needs to be. Um, that might be where the nuance around a programming language or on a different kind of, uh, uh, or different type of open. You might be dealing with open design content instead of open source. Um, you know, so you may have different places of thinking inside there. Um, so there's, a, so there's some presumptions in here that I'll point out that there's a, one of the presumptions is that you want something that's like a quick start guide. I, no, it's that dark's not that great. I could make this bigger. Can I make this bigger? How do I, make, how do, I do that? If I go to view, zoom, I thought I'd need the quick keys for it. Um, let's go for 150%. A little bit better. Let's do that again. Go up to 200. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Um, at, least, at least that part's a little bit more legible. Um, so, and then, and, then, and then the core being quick start for people that, that, that are getting started with whatever your thing is. Is there documentation for new users, installation, or some way to get it going in an environment? Um, it, you, know, you can see all the source code co compilation. You can see how far back this list of checklist goes, right? Um, uh, change log, right? You know, we're, this would, I would expand this out to talk about things like, um, well, References back to things like the like Git repos and, and what's going on with that would be an interesting one in there too. As, as we'll go back to release management. Okay, so let's go over and take a look at the Green Software Foundation. So the so off the top. So there's a great, so and I mean just noticing off the top. So we've got a great call to action. The thing I'm being asked to do is sign up for the newsletter. That's easy. And let's find out how that flows. Okay, I'm not, I'll go back over to that in a few minutes. Um, okay, and then we got a link to the GitHub repo. That's good. It's like, oh, I can see, but it, it's not up in my face where the stuff was. So let's find what's in the submenus about. Man, I train my clock, go to contact. Look at you're working on. Projects links off, resources, software. and then articles. Okay, resources and articles seem the most likely, most likely to me what, to what I would equate to documentation. So it's one's going to tell me about, oh, oh, okay, cool. So I'm dropped into a GitHub repo, which has a readme, which is a form of documentation. The, there's a, it's a slightly jar, more jarring experience. You know, I would note this in the report, you know, that you might consider, you know, as a, from a, if you're thinking about who the users are, you want to be going to this is dropping them into GitHub repo without a warning, a thing you want to do, right? So and this is, I guess I would be putting my coffee down and going back over to the worksheet and be making a note to this over here. Um, um, this would, you know, would be so. 
So it might be jarring or scary to be dropped there without warning. And I'm going to say scary because, you know, people, it's, it's regardless of what you personally might feel about a GitHub experience if, as a, oh, it's so great compared to the other things, but it's just compared to the other things. So. And no dis I'm no dismiss. I mean, this is a great website. I'm only, I'm supposed to be picking and finding problems, right? <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Uh, what's the next one we got? Uh, principles of Green Software Engineering. Ooh, cool. And then we got a whole new world. I like this. Okay. Endorse the principles and join the newsletter. Okay, wow, cool. Bam. I think it's my principles. Okay. I got my call to action. I know what I'm up to. Okay. I can get back to this in a minute or later. I'm going to leave my tabs open to go do, I won't do my all the exploration. And then articles takes us out too. Okay, so what I've got so far, cool articles about, what was that? Cool, is that I am. Ah, that I liked. Cool. Of course, now I'm wondering part what are the things you're doing. So I'm thinking, what are the, so with all of the areas that are called out in, in their working groups, let's go see what uh, the documentation parts would be there too. Um, oh, there. Okay. Um, I can make this a little bit bigger so we can all probably get a little bit view of what we got down if I can get. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, what is, what are the projects? And this is going to take me into, I'm going to draw, drop into one and see what's going on inside this working group. I mean, basically, it's kind of like I'm picking one at random. I might, if I was spending more time with this, I'd probably go, I would try to figure out what was a reasonable sampling and see if I get it, if there was any trends. Like if, if you go into 10 of them and they're all like absolutely perfect and things, and you're like, okay, somebody's curated all of this content. It doesn't necessarily have to go through every single page. Um, okay. So I'm at the point where I've, I've, I'm going, now I'm not surprised, right? I've, I've actually dove into a working group. I'm talking about software. I look into tooling on purpose. I'm expecting to go to GitHub. Right, and then I come here, and then I've got lots of tool, lots of documentation stuff. So that looks pretty good. That seems like a clear pathway. I think the one thing that I would say in general, and I don't know, everybody's got their own feeling about this thing, but but the, the when we did the last refresh stuff of the operate first site, we went through this thing about putting the word docs up there. Like people do sometimes expect to see that. So I don't know if if that matters as much or not. That may again be an example of where some you know my the ten-year-old worksheet thinking. So, um, let's, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at another project. If someone's got another, another one in mind. Yes. Uh, Unicraft.org. U N I K. Uh, find my home keys again. U N I K. Raft.org. R O. Ra uh, a, 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 a S T. A -S -T. At least that has the docs uh, item there. Ah, okay. I see. Got it. Okay, great. Get a kernel development kit. Sam, bam, perfect. Okay, so well, we did documentation. We could do that one again. Is there another? Would there? Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a unikernel development kit. If I'm at this point, I'm by turning up. I mean, this definitely is right off the bat. Is is you know, I mean, it's POSIX compatible. If you don't, you know, like it, either you know what POSIX compatible and it matters to you or it doesn't, right? Like so, this is. But but at that point too, I wouldn't necessarily. I wouldn't. I would say that the it, it, my first instinct, just catching the page here, is that it, it's um, doing a good job of, of reaching out to the people it's trying to reach out to, and, is, and there are people who it's not trying to reach out to, and if they get here and feel a little scared, maybe that's okay, I don't know. And if they're curious, they can dig on. We want them to feel welcome no matter who they are, but at least to be a little bit more cautious, right? So that's okay. But it's still friendly, and I like that, you know, it's, look, we've got the, you know, we've got a cool icon doing things, so it's not, I mean, you're all, you're all good, okay. And there's a quick start, I love this part. Um, I mean, you know, not to be, I'm a docs person, right? I love quick starts. Um, and, um, but, and my brain just went sideways. What did, what did you suggest that we look into? Uh, I didn't look in, I, I didn't. wasn't going to say, maybe documentation, maybe Good. the code quality stuff. That, could be well, that, was my, that was my thought, was to think a little bit about, yeah, to, to look into, actually, maybe how about releases? Because, yeah. I mean, doc, so let's, do, let's take a look at docs really quick and releases yeah. as well. Um, just a, a quick overview of what's going on in the release page and how that is. Okay, so you can see all those things. You got that and that features, bug improvements. Okay, so release notes. I've wrangled many a release notes. I'm a big fan. Okay, cool, good, and it's um. And 
is this, do these happen to, oh, okay, they go out to the universe, awesome, okay, great, so yeah, very detailed, and we're and getting you right into there, so yeah, cool, okay, um, and though, so getting into where my getting started page, okay, so go, okay, oh, just, I'm going to, I mean, this is going to give it, this is my, one of my favorite things in the whole world to catch, and I'm just going to do it because you use the word simply. So I would literally, I would be throwing in just simply this right here because of that. I would go over to my worksheet and I would say, um, you know, be careful of words and terms that might make a reader feel less than. I think it's a simple way I put it, to feel less than like, oh, I'm not the person this is for because it's, it's simply something and I've, I simply, I don't even know what this means with a pip. It's not, it's like, that's that little, when you're playing Cribbage, is that what the little thing is, like the pips? I don't know. So, um, um, and I'm only, you know, advised. But yeah, I'm a documentation person, so I get to like it. Yeah. And I tell everybody gets the other one from me. So, so I, you know, and just is another one. I will, when I'm done with a document or when I'm getting someone, sometimes the first thing I'll do is I'll just do a word search for just, simply, easy, anything, any words that, that kind of catch that. And usually just can take them out or restructure it. Um, but yeah, again, that's the kind of thing that if you're in, if you're, we, sometimes we would, when we're doing project reviews, we'll have a documentation person who's doing the documentation reviews. So you get a deeper review in an area. You get somebody's particular um, <sighs> nerdinesses. So I think I might be coming up close to the end of my time. So um, was there, what is the end time on this? 45 after? I've got two minutes to go here before I do my wrap up. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As always, thank you, sir. Um, um, I know you're a sir. That's why I can, I can, I can, I'm not presuming yet. Um, okay, so, um, and then the la and then back over in the document in particular. Would you get familiar with the core concept? Cool, okay. Oh, awesome, yeah. Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah, cool. I mean, very, very, very friendly to developers is my feel. Very friendly to technical people. Um, and, um, yeah, cool. Ooh, oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, cool. Good. All right. Um, do I think we might, let me look at my agenda here really quick. I've done the call, got the call to action part to come still. I've got the, um, we're, and we're, we're open to questions here in the middle too, I guess, because that's part of the live process of it. Um, is this working okay? Do we want to try, we can try one more project? Yes. Open house information exchange, ohio.org. Oh, oh. Thank you, ohie.org, like that. Mike. Yeah, so I'm, thank you. I'm, I'm had, so I had a, some, a little PTS responses when the first day I got here and my nervous system has been a little off. And so it's probably like the whole sweating dynamic and stuff too. But So I'm so kitching, like getting all the parts of the brain to connect together. But I'm, I'm doing pretty well today. Oh, thank you. Okay, so where are we? Let me have a little sip. So do we have a, let's look over at the worksheet and see um, the different areas, license, health, uh, outreach, code quality, activity. We haven't looked at outreach. Um, what, is there an area in particular that? Outreach or call to action. Okay. Okay. So there's definitely a call to action right now. It's very, very, tar very, um, I don't like these words, I'm sorry. Sorry to say targeted, right, which is, it's a little... You know, it's related to shooting things, right? I don't, want, don't mean that. I mean, I'm not trying to shoot the users, right? Who are we trying to uh, uh, attract, right? It's, it seems to be attracting people who know what's going on here already, familiar with this, with what this is, right? Um, and maybe that's okay, but that's just you know that would be in my note about the first note about the call to action and the and the first outreach piece, um, and that can take a look at the register now. Cool, and it's easy, enough, of course, for me to scroll down, and here's the thing, right? So. I don't feel totally lost with that. See, this is good because right here I get to look at directly into the, what we do. It's not assuming anything else. Okay. Ah, okay, cool, cool. I think. Um, okay. The one thing that strikes me in here is that the that just as totally maybe it's because I'm an open whatever nerd, but like this looks to me like we have like the story here is is open open data conversation, right? That's what's, you know, there's a, the underlying 
if it's whatever the open source might be, but there's an open data conference. I do see the word data somewhere down in the middle of it, but uh, data needs to be shared. Um, I know there may be other things, but open health information, key part of it, you know, there's a lot of stuff around privacy and stuff. Like they, that might be, I'm not sure if that's all, the, not all. That might, you know, I might be just plucking that one out as, as, in, as, being, um, as being more core to the mission as opposed to an effect of it. But um, it might be, it's the kind of thing that I would, like a code of conduct or something that if I was coming into somewhere that was going to be talking about health information, I'd want to know that they were cut right away approaching, giving me conversations about my privacy and about data, and um, especially in an open data world, because I want some version of sharing some of my health data so that it can, it can help science, but it doesn't you know, harm my privacy. Um, okay, so outward, so let's take a look at what under we got a framework and impact story. So getting started takes me to the getting started. The register now is separate from that. So we got two calls to action, which is cool. They're both it's, they're definitely different things. Not, now I'm a little I'm not sure what the getting started is going to do. Okay. Ah, okay, cool. Let's see, so it's reaching out. It's more it's a gate. It's a gated in. So this is interesting. Like I'm going to get my sort of like. Yeah, this is another one of those, like I've got definitely, I'm a person, if I'm in healthcare, or I'm in more in a particular area, that's something I'm interested in, I'm going to either, this is for me or it's not, right? Um, and that's okay, it's like you want, I mean, another thing too is like, you, you're not wasting, even if it's not for me, I'm going to go away, right? We're not wasting each other's time. So there's no harm about trying to make, it's not something that doesn't have to be for everybody. And it's okay to make that clear, I think. I'm not a web design professional, I'm just thinking from this, you know, an open human systems perspective of people feeling welcome enough, they might, they go, oh, well, this isn't quite for me, but interesting, and they file it away in their brain, and they share it with somebody later who's into this stuff, right? Um, oh, that's okay, cool. Okay, cool. I mean, this seems like, a, I mean, this is a really, you know, information seems I'm really good. To, um, uh, I'm having an easy time to, you know, absorbing all this stuff right here and getting what's going on, I think. Principles, oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Open as an open, cool. And then this is my oh, impact stories, and I, I was going to the getting started. Okay, that's what I just covered. Okay, cool. Um, I think that I mean it looks like it's it's a. It's so far to me it looks like you know just on the face of it, it looks like a really good outreach approach. Um, I would want to look a little bit. I'm curious about things like the other other bits that would go into would be things like what's going on, like looking at blog posts. How frequently are they going? Are they hitting a regular rhythm? Are they sporadic? Um, it, you could, it's better to have one every month than to try to make one a week and then not quite make it or something, that sort of theory, or one a quarter even, like just so that people know, oh, I'll come by a couple times a year, there'll be a new blog. That's what you're thinking about. Um, and the, um, uh, and then and also social media feeds, like what's going on, you know, if you're using it, if you're using a strategy, is it clear that you're, that this is a curated feed or is it something that's, that is sporadically taken care of and that kind of thing. So those would be the other things that would be being flagged on that. Um, and a lot of times things really, the, the footer is one of the really, ultimately, everything that's not in the top menu is going to be in the footer, right? So if I can't find something, um, like I still haven't found a code of conduct, for example, um, but I do have my license. So it would all be, I'd start, you know, if I can't find it there, I'd go down here as the next place to look. Okay, so let's, um, let's jump back over to, where was my presentation? Here we go. Cool, let's jump back over here and, f and finish out. Um, so... Uh, in the past, I would walk people through that book and show them the chapters and tell them how to go use it, right? So today, I took a different approach, showed you the worksheet they would use, how I'd go through and take it. Um, I saw, um, I, you know, anybody who's, who's been in the open source program off with the, office with me, we've actually all learned how to do this process, and it's fairly straightforward. So there's a lot that can be done out of this. You can do it, to, you can do it with your own projects. You can do it for uh, other ones. But really, to me, the most important thing is uh, not that we built write another version of the book. There's actually, we have chapters partially being written for the 2.1 version. If anybody wants to become a wrangler of writing an open source book, come on down. I've done it a couple of times. It's really great. I, I, I'm, I'm, one thing I keep doing in life is giving people the massive vision, like, here is Middle Earth. All right, everybody? And you're like, oh, and we're going we're gonna to do something big. It's like, are you ready for that level of conversation? Or could it just be like, hey, back your pack, pack your, we're going to go on an adventure. You want to pack your backpack? Let's go. You know, let's just take it like a chunk at a time. So my, I'm asking everybody to, to think about community stewardship, reach out to people who are in other communities, um, have conversations, have virtual tea, coffee, whatever, um, any, your favorite beverage, uh, and let's just start to build some commonality and understanding from each other of what's going on. Um, and um, reach out to people that, that, you, that are comfortable, that you feel the most, you feel similar to, reach out to people you feel different from, people, you know, projects that are similar to you, different than you, people's life experiences and their identities seem different or similar. Like, do, try, 
you know, just like maybe try three, something like that. Not, I don't know, something. You know, give yourself a, a reasonable amount to do. Um, so somebody you meet here at this event, um, I'm always available. I personally also really appreciate the triad. If you have never thought about the versus two people, but three people, the dynamic of a three-way conversation works also really nicely over Zoom. I, I take my face out and just put two faces on the screen, and I feel pretty, pretty okay with that. Um, so, and then just if those conversations start to turn to anything, you want to be doing any stuff with it, we have a website at theopensourceway.org. We've got the forums. We can do more things with it. If there's, you know, we can more add stuff. If there's some stuff we want to do to build practices and gather things as a community of practice, great. But let's be a community first and then get to the practice stuff second. Um, and, oh, look, there's a meeting I'm not going to. I, was, I knew that already. Um, and, yeah, and, there, and, um, and, yeah, and I think that was it. So, um, so I'm, and, and then go ahead and, you know, try out these, these processes. Um, you know, this, 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 you know, one, two, three, study and analyze, assess and report, then act on those recommendations. Um, all of the resources for this, for this presentation are at this link where they should be. And if they aren't, let me know. Um, I will give you my contact information on my cards and stuff. Um, and um, uh, are there any questions? Well, we've got a couple minutes for, I think we have a couple minutes for a couple questions. Yes. I will be doing some off. I'm going down to the Red Hat booth on the Expo Hall floor down there to be doing office hours. I have a, uh, I have a bunch of cool open source way stickers uh, on the smaller size that fit places. I can give some out now, but I'll be bringing the rest of them down there. So it's been a couple minutes here after here, but then I'll be starting to push out to get down there. So if you are looking to connect or talk more, I totally get that um, and, and all that sort of thing. Um, of course, my image attributions, because we have, you know, this is a, a, a open source, you know, and, the, and, and this, my favorite image of all of these is the Creative Commons image, the attribution image for this purpose that is itself a Creative Commons attribution image, and it requires me to mention the person's name, and so I've got it in here in the links of stuff. So all of the, all of those are in here. Sometimes it's a little longer, um, and um, I think that is all of my proper links, and that's it. So thanks for, thanks for coming uh, on this uh, walk with me here today. I really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.